What's going on YouTube? Evan here, gonna be teaching you another iration song today. I believe this is the first iration song I learned back around, girl. Um, not too difficult. Um, I'll show you a couple different ways to uh, play the, um, the B because it might be easier to do it that way. But uh, yeah, let's get into it. So on the sixth fret, here's the first chord we need to know. It's on the sixth fret. We're gonna borrow the sixth fret, but we're only playing five string bar chord, not this low E, okay? So we're gonna pop on your minor shape here. This is a D sharp minor is what we're playing. All right. So real quick, if it's a if you're playing a five string bar chord and this is a minor shape down here, and you were to move all these up one, and you're playing now six string bar chord, it's now the natural. It's now so it's now a major, and that's because down here it's here. It's, if you put on the A minor, right, A minor shape, and you play five string, it's only five strings that you play for the A minor. But you move that whole shape up here, and you play all six strings. It's now an E natural. Same thing works for all these other ones, okay? Anywhere you're at on this guitar. So, uh, so the first one we have is D sharp minor. And then we are, we're going to move this up one, one fret, and then we're going to move those fingers up one each. And now we have a B natural, okay? So D sharp minor, B natural. Now you can also play this B natural down here on the second fret, but it's a five string bar chord down here on the second fret. And with your third finger, you're going to press down on the D, G, and B string of the fourth fret. And then you bar on the second fret with your first finger, leaving that high E to be caught by your second finger. You got a B. Okay, now this might be easier to go from this D sharp minor down to this B, because the next one we need to know is right above it. It's an F sharp major, all right? It's the F sharp major chord. So from this B, if you were to play this B, all you got to do is slide this whole thing down to the second fret. We have an F sharp major. Now move this shape up to the 4th fret and take off your 2nd finger and you have a G sharp minor. And then the last chord we need to know is on this 4th fret as well, so keep your 1st finger barred on that 4th fret. And then do the natural shape for the 5 string bar chord, which is the pressing down on the D, G, and B string of the 6th um, fret here, and we have a C sharp. 5 string bar chord, C sharp. Okay. G sharp minor, C sharp. All right, that's all we need to know. This is how I play it, and this is how it sounds. That's it. That's pretty much the whole song. Uh, it just keeps repeating that that part, um, and I'll break down each. Well, I'll break down how I do that. So what I'm doing is because I'm I just always play by myself. I don't have anybody to play with. Um, is I play the root note, the bass note. I don't have any bass guitars to play, with. and then I do the track. Okay, and one one on each chord. So. the hook and that's when we're doing in the C sharp all right so one more time on that hook So it's so at first when you're coming off that G sharp minor into that B, um, into that B, it's it's a it's just a one time on that. So now three. Um, and then the only other part that he does is 
uh, to try to, you know, to not keep that uh, hook so repetitive and kind of do something cool in between as he does that dot. So, and that's just between the F sharp, the G, G sharp minor, and the B. Okay. Bam. All right, so that's um, Back Around Girl by Aeration. Uh, leave some comments below. Uh, like the video, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it all. Thank you all for watching my videos. Thank you. Much love. Peace.